This is the Bellatrix Strange Wand. Let's take a closer look. I have done a lot of videos in the past showcasing all my wands, but I thought for someone who might be interested in one particular wand, I thought I would just do a video dedicated to that one wand, and this time it's going to be the Bellatrix the Strange one. So, first off, this is the one that comes in the wand box, and I'll go into that in a little bit more of how you can get hold of this one, but initially to show you, so it does come with that sort of foam hard molded in that and I guess protection from it being crushed as a little thing. It does say fragile collectible wand, not a toy in that and you can see that's how it's very it's very unusual, very different one. And that is that one. I have not really looked at this in detail before to show it, but it is such a different and unique one because of the curvature of it. It looks kind of like a like a claw. It is evil looking and dark. We know that this is a very, it, that it tapers to quite a fine point. Side story, I believe that when, in the films, and spoiler alert, when like Bellatrix is holding Neville and she's like playing with him and like holding the, her wand to him, like they were fooling around. I, I believe, I'm not sure if this is true, but apparently she may have pushed this into his ear and like ruptured his eardrum. I'm not sure how true that is, but... So these ones can be dangerous, so do be careful with them. <laughs> but back to the wand itself, it has like the wood type effect engravings, like etchings on there. And it does also have almost rune-like swirls and stuff on this one handle. So not on this side, I can see, yeah. On this hand, this side in particular, it has, like, well, worn out, but the, almost the swirls and stuff that she has on her, like, Death Eater outfit, which I think is really cool. I do like how they've done that. I didn't notice that before. I thought it was just on, I thought it would be on both sides, but yeah, it's just the one. She does have a second one, and that's the one that you can actually buy from the Noble Collection that does come in a wand box. It's funny to think, and spoiler alert, that she was able to get a second one, because this is obviously when <laughs> Hermione and them get hold of this, and then she uses that wand later. So Bellatrix obviously needed another wand, but who did she go to? Like, they had Ollivanders, so... <laughs> like, were they just, like, wands lying around? It's a funny thought to think of, um, you know, and I love collecting things like replicas and props that are straight out of the film. It just, getting to own a piece of that Wizarding World just feels and makes it all that more real to me. And can you imagine, like, having this wand for Halloween? I think that would be a fab time to use it. Like, if anyone's considering doing a Death Eater for Halloween, or just, like, any time if you wanted to add a wand to a collection, like, I think that would sit very well on the shelf as it does with all my ones. I do love the, uh, it a lot. Now for some time the only way to get hold of this particular wand is by purchasing the one that comes on a plaque from Noble Collection. So it's like a Death Eater plaque display and then this is the one that's displayed within. There's like a little mini uh, Death Eater mask of Bellatrix Restraint. It's a little bit more pricey but that was the only way that you can get this individually. Then Noble Collection brought out the one that comes in the window box. So that's just for people who would be after. It's the same one, it's just in a sort of a basic cardboard box with like a kind of perspex covering. It's for people that are just after the wand, like they're not worried about having a wand box. So that didn't really suit me because I love the wand and the wand box because I, I like to display them. Until I visited the Harry Potter Studios, the so the Warner Brothers Studio Tour London, and this is where I purchased that one from. So they, it is the same Noble Collection wand, it just now is in this box. So if you did want to get hold of the wand in the box, then that is where I would purchase it from because that's the only place that you can get this wand in, well, with a wand box itself. Otherwise, from Noble Collection, it's going to be the plaque or the basic window box one, which is not really desired to be displayed. It's more just like if you want the wand, just a little bit cheaper. 
Of course, I'll leave links to all these ones down below, so look out for those if you wanted to get hold of any of them. If you have enjoyed this video, then please do me a favor and click that subscribe button and turn on notifications that when there's a new video, you'll be notified. Be sure to give this video a like, and with that, remember, the Wizarding World is just one spell away.